Hey guys and welcome back to CryptoStat. Today I'm going to be covering the Binance MACD scanner, going through how to actually utilize it, what to look for and how it actually works. It's not as complex as it sounds, it's pretty simple, it just pretty much puts uh, the you know, MACD crosses for you there all in the one place. So let's have a look, I've already preset this in the site settings for me, my personal preferences so that you can just view the MACD and a chart and nothing else. So I've got, gone ahead and hit the statistics, Binance MACD scanner and loaded this page here for us. Now if you just want to focus on that and don't really want to look at anything else, just do that right there. So if we have a look here, we've got the Binance MACD scanner here. This is on FBTC just randomly uh, sitting here. Now we have a rating and weighted score system. So, you know, we have different time frames here that show you if they cross bearish or bullish. So green means uh, bullish, red means bearish. And if you have a look here, just as an example on WTC at the moment, the 15 minute is currently lit and it has a little dot there. So that little green dot means it has crossed and is currently crossed, but it hasn't closed a 15 minute candle above uh, on that cross yet. So, you know, once it does, this will just stay as a bullish green instead of having a little circle there consistently blinking. Um, that's what that just means. Same thing for the down one as well. So if you use this as a reference on YoYo here, the, on the one weekly, it's saying currently it hasn't closed the weekly underneath, but the trend is currently bearish and the MACD is crossed bearish at the moment, but it hasn't closed and confirmed that. Let's try and see something. So let's say we, we look at WTC here, for example. Uh, current rating of WTC is very high, 96.43, because of the monthly. Now you can see the monthly hasn't fully crossed yet, it hasn't confirmed, it's currently crossed. So let's go and check that out. And I want to bring up the chart, right? This is how simple CryptoStat makes it for you. Click on this here, brings up the chart for you as well. Right here, you don't even need to navigate anywhere else if you don't want to. But yeah, it's, it's right there for you, and it's pretty sweet. So let's flick over to the weekly for a second. And just slightly zoom in. Oh, it was the monthly, sorry. So let's check out the monthly, and there it is. It's the first time it's been above. And if we close this month above, well, that would give it a higher rating for WTC. Now, it hasn't had enough candles uh, to, to give us that secondary line, uh, but it currently is above that secondary line on this monthly, uh, the current trend. So. The next one that closes will close above. Now let's check out ZRX, something that did something and see how we could have caught it with Binance MACD scanner. So someone that moved in the last week or so. So let's bring up ZRX, we can just search that. Let's bring up the chart and you can see the ratings quite low. The monthly isn't, hasn't crossed. The monthly, the weighted score system works based on the higher time frames have a much, much bigger impact on the weighted score system of how bullish or bearish it can be. So let's go and have a look at ZRX real quickly. So I brought it up, click the chart here. Let's just check it out. This is on the hourly. You can see here we're bearish on the hourly. And we currently are. The blue line is under the um, orangish line. So that indicates to us that we are currently bearish. But I really want to pay want to pay attention to the move that happened, right? We had a major move on ZRX. Um, and we want to know why. So let's go and have a look. And as you can see here, we would have got a confirmation here. This is on the daily, you know, crossed on top, and that's the confirmation of that cross. So you would have taken a trade here once this was opened, right there at 2 2 or 2 3. 2,300 Satoshis uh, would have been a cross and a confirm here on the Binance Back Peace Counter, indicating that yes, we are looking at a bullish daily stance for the MACD on ZRX. And you can see the price has gone all the way up to about 5400, 5300 sats and it's currently sitting at 4500 sats. Now this was a major performer in the last week. It is it is a one-off uh, in the last week that kind of did this sort of stuff, especially with Bitcoin running up as well. The whole intention is that you could have possibly seen this and this would have been on, the, on your radar if you had seen the daily flick up. Um, it would have indicated to you the daily was, was crossed over all in the one page and you would have paid attention to it. Let's have a look at the monthly. See, as you can see the monthly, there hasn't been enough candles for us to produce a, um, a signal line. So therefore the MACD is just one line at the moment until more candles are produced. Now let's go and have a look at the four hourly. 
as you can see, it's bearish. And, you know, that could have been an indication for you right there on this open at 4,500. So that's a pretty much where it is right now. You can see it's gone bearish. Could have been an indication for you to take half the position out because the four hourly was just bullish just as the daily was around the same same sort of um, uh, stance, same, same, same time frame, I should say, the same time frame literally. So if we go back on the daily, you know, 22, 2300 sats, four hourly, 2400 sats. So you can pay attention and trade that way. You know, the daily's gone crossed, the four hourly's crossed, cool. We're going to take a trade, the four hourly's crossed under. All right, let's close half position here, or whatever that the basis of that position may be. It may be different for everybody. Um, it just depends on your personal trading style and how you want to, I guess, evaluate that at the end of the day and what decisions you want to make at the end of the day. And as you can see, the price fell slightly and bounced back, and now we're sitting pretty much where that one actually would have closed off if you had taken that trade. So just as an example right there, guys, just the way you can utilize it and make this tool work for you. Now, a lot of people might say it crossed on the daily before um, bullish and bearish, and it didn't really make a move. That's the whole point, though, is that you are prepared for a move. Now, you're not going to win every single trade, but you are prepared. And this is what this tool is here to help you with. This is what CryptoStat is here to help you with, is to vet out everything, put it on the, all in the one place so that you can you know, utilize it and, and just focus on what you need to focus on and not have a look at... The, the crypto space is so, so, it's pretty big. There is a lot of stuff happening all the time. So what we wanted to do was put the tools that you need, the tools that can help you trade, all in the one place. And this is the whole point of CryptoStat and what we wanted to achieve. So let's go and have a look just to prove that, you know, yeah, sometimes it doesn't go your way. So we had this bullish one. This was the confirmation right here. The open was 3,000. That crossed under but didn't confirm and this is a confirmation on the open 2953 so you would have broken even there from 29 oh we'll take the next one just just to be safe 3006 sats and 2953 so you you kind of get where i'm going with this you would have broken even you wouldn't have made anything and in between you would have gone under and above um but once this confirmed the trend we went from there. So let's say you had sold out, gone under, and then we get a little trade right here. And that's the confirmation. So what's the open on that? 2263. So you would have gotten that at 3,000, got back at 22, um, and then back out at 24. So if you take that as a trade, it re didn't really touch there, right? It didn't really touch. This one more touch at 2431. So, and went under. And there's the open on this one, 2292. So, you know, if you have you're not going to win them all, uh, but this kind of gives you direction as to where, where it's going or give you an idea of what's happening in the market. So just to put that out there, right, a lot of people would think, oh, the, I'm just going to trade on the MACD. Don't go crazy and jump into it without knowing what it actually is. Um, try and understand it. Make sure you have set tight rules. Make sure you're paying attention when you're in a trade and all that sort of stuff. But this just helps you understand that there is a trade incoming or if there isn't. So... Let's go ahead and throw the ratings up. And we can see here a lot of stuff are actually, at the moment, on the um, MACD, are uh, crossing bullish on the monthly, which kind of gives us a good indication. Uh, it's not every now and then that you get monthly crosses on a, on a moving average convergence divergence. It's not, it's not uh, a regular thing. It's quite rare, especially when you have multiples. So in the 2017 bull market, we had quite a lot of um, monthly convergence divergence bullish. All right, so... It's really cool to start seeing this list really um, pick up. And you can see here, we've got MCO, NEO, and EVE, which are currently crossed. Sorry, we got NEO and EVE currently crossed and have closed off there. Whereas MCO, WTC, LRC, and GAS at the moment have not, uh, but are currently above, but haven't closed their monthly off there. So we've just entered this month, so um, we, we need to evaluate the end of the month as to where they sit. Another cool little tool we have here is the overall market MACD percentage. So on the minute, we have 46.29% uh, of the alts that are crossed bullish on the, on the one minute. Five minute, 46%. 15 minute, 40%. The 30, 50. The hourly, 51 right here. The four hourly, 88. The 12 hourly, 73%. The daily, 21. The weekly, 59. And the monthly, 3%. So you can see how little 
that percentage is on the monthly that have actually crossed and confirmed. There is this hyperlink here as well, which you can just click and it'll take you to that particular pair. If you were logged into your Binance account, then you'd be logged in you know, automatically right here. You just click it, it just takes you to your account on that particular pair that you're looking at. You might want to trade and just really quick and simple, instead of you going and looking for it, um, you know, and going through Binance, clicking here, looking for the actual pair that you want, etc., etc. So we want to make things streamlined for you. We want to make it simple. Uh, and we just want it to work at the end of the day. So yeah, guys, that's a wrap up for the Binance MACD scanner there. Yeah, crypto stat. We hope you enjoyed it. And I'm sure you guys can't wait to get to utilize this. And we can't wait to offer it to you guys so that you can utilize this. And better your trading, hopefully catch some more trades. Cheers, guys. See you guys in the next video. Take care.